Hey guys, the Gadget Man here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and demonstrating this powerful car jump starter or booster. This is a portable emergency device you keep in your car in case your battery is dead and you can't start your car, and you don't have to ask some stranger for a jump. This item was gifted to me to do this video, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unbox it, demonstrate it, and test it out in real-world conditions and show you how it holds up. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box first and see what it looks like. I have our all-important user manual. And uh, got a pretty... Wow, this is one of the bigger ones I've... I've actually tested quite a few of these, and I'm going to say that this is on the larger side, but it does seem to be heavy, so it's probably got a pretty big battery, can start, you know, pretty heavy-duty stuff. So there we go. Let's get that out. Um, we have a uh, carry case here, a little sack, really, uh, to hold it in. I'm going to go down further into the box, and here we go. We have our jumper cables. And uh, these are pretty big compared to some most that I test. This is really designed for a bigger uh, system here. We have our charging cable here. Um, this allows you to use it as a DC battery for things that you would plug into your car. So you can plug this into the battery and then plug whatever your car adapter is into this. Okay. And it comes with a uh, wall charger that you will use with this cord to charge the device up. So that's everything that's in the box there, guys. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look at the device itself here. We have a little door over here with some different things in it. Um, this is where this is going to plug in right here. And that gives you a DC power out socket. Um, you have your uh, USB power out. 12 volt 10 amp out and a 5 volt 2 amp out uh, USB so there's a lot of different options here and this is power out using the battery to charge things with okay um, to actually use it to jump start your car you're gonna come over to this side and you're gonna have this door right here and you have this specially keyed little device that's going to fit right actually I got it upside down see it won't go in wrong so you don't have to worry about that um, can't fit a square peg in a round hole type thing so it goes in there and once it goes in it's going to go into standby mode and when you hook it to your battery it will go into uh, start mode okay so we'll go ahead and demonstrate that on a couple of vehicles i've got uh, and show you how that works but let's okay so we're getting ready to start up my truck here got a 99 percent charge it's as high as it goes because it doesn't have the space for 100 all right so um, first thing that we're going to do is connect our cables. Now, I have disconnected my positive cable to the, uh, to the battery because I have a good battery. So if it's connected to the battery, it can start the car. So we're going to be starting completely off of this thing with no battery at all. So this would be the same thing as a completely dead battery. All right, so I can't actually get this into the negative post on the battery because of this, this brace right here. So I'm just going to connect it straight to the body, and you can do that if you can't reach the negative post. Um, but you do have to connect to the positive post directly. So we're going to connect this right here to the positive post, which is separate from the battery. Okay, now we're going to come in here, open this little door right here, all right, and we are going to plug this in right here. Okay. Now you see this, there's a blue and green light. Once that comes on, you have a limited amount of time to go ahead and start your vehicle. So let's go give it a start. Once your vehicle is started, go ahead and disconnect the positive and unplug it. Okay? Okay, so we saw that it completely started the truck up, no problem. Let's go ahead and see how much battery. It still says the battery is at 99%. It didn't actually take that much of the juice out of this battery to start the truck. Now, after you start a vehicle, let's say it doesn't start on the first try, you need to let this have a little bit of a break, maybe about 30 seconds to a minute, 
to cool down and then you can restart again. So uh, about now I'm going to go ahead and reconnect these things. All right. And let's go ahead and give it a second try. And when you click it, when you plug it in, you'll hear a click. And that green light will turn on right there. And then you can go start your vehicle. Okay, so this is my old 1998 Nissan Frontier pickup. Uh, it's an old, um, you know, like vintage vehicle that I like to keep around. It's got a standard shift on it, uh, you know, for just, a, I just like it. And I just keep it around the farm. Um, I don't use it a whole lot and the battery goes dead on it a lot. So, um, I've, once again, I've disconnected the positive battery cable. So there's no power to the system. We'll go ahead and connect the negative and the positive here. Let's go ahead and and plug this in here okay we see the green light let's go give it a start okay so here I have a Polaris Ranger 570 ATV that I'm going to start up with this so I've connected the positive and the negative and disconnected the positive from the battery so let's go ahead and plug this into the unit again okay and we see the green light here let's go ahead and start her up All right, guys, so I've started all three of these vehicles you see in the picture here. This Polaris Ranger, that Silverado 2500, and that old Nissan pickup in the back there. Uh, all with this here, started the Silverado twice, and the battery here is still registering at 99%, so it's got a lot more juice in it. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot to kick these babies off. All right, guys, so you saw it there. It started up three different vehicles, my Silverado 2500 HD, a uh, 1998 Nissan Frontier pickup, and a Polaris Ranger 578 TV. All right, guys, so it had no trouble um, starting those up, and after that, still registering 99% on the battery, which means it didn't use any of the battery or very little of it um, to get those things started. So it's still got a lot more starting power in it, um, you know, our also charging power, and it does have this light over here. And you got to hit that button twice real fast and turns the light on, and that would be a work light. And then it has kind of a flasher light there, and then we have like an SOS emergency code there, and twice again turns it off. Pressing this twice turns that off, pressing it twice again turns it back on. Okay, and that's about all there is to show on this, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the thumbs up underneath the video to let me know this video helped you out. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later.